Hello everyone, my name is Karen and it's lovely to be with you again. Today we are going to hear the Christmas story in a way that might be a little bit different to how you've heard it before. So make yourself comfortable and come and hear the Christmas story again. I wonder what it will help you think about. Prophets are people who come so close to God, and God comes so close to them, that they know what is most important. They pointed the way to Bethlehem. They didn't know exactly what was going to happen there, but they knew this was the place. Stop. Watch. Pay attention. Something incredible is going to happen in Bethlehem. This is the Holy Family. This is the Mother Mary. This is the Father Joseph. Maybe a donkey was with them. The Holy Family are on the way to Bethlehem. Mary was about to have a baby. It's very hard to walk very far when you're about to have a baby. Maybe she walked and maybe she rode. Joseph was with her. I wonder if they were the last people coming up the road to Bethlehem that night. When they got to Bethlehem, they couldn't find anywhere to stay, so they slept in a stable. There were shepherds in the hills above Bethlehem trying to stay awake to make sure the wolves did not get to the sheep. Suddenly there was so much light in the sky that it hurt their eyes. They were afraid. When they could hear something besides their own hearts beating, they thought they heard singing in the sky. The angels were singing, don't be afraid. Angels often say that because it's scary to have a messenger of God come to you. The angels singing sounded something like this, don't be afraid. We bring you tidings of great joy, peace on earth and goodwill to everyone. A child is born. Go, hurry, run to Bethlehem to see this child who will change everything. There were wise men, maybe kings. They came from far in the east and they were so wise that people thought they were magic. We get our word from magic, from their name in their own language, the Magi. Of all the things they knew, they knew the most about the stars. They knew where each star was supposed to be at each time of year. Suddenly, they saw a wild star it was not on any of their star maps. It went where it wanted to go. It did not stay put. They decided to follow the wild star to see where it was going and what it wanted to show them. They followed the star all the way to Bethlehem. They came from so far away that they got there long after the baby was born. This is the candle of the Holy Family. This is the candle of the shepherds. Here is the candle of the wise men. When you come to the mystery of Christmas, everything changes. This is when the baby is born, the one we have been waiting for. Emmanuel was his name, a name meaning God is with us. This is the Christ candle. Now let's enjoy its light too. You can always feel the Christmas light. Anywhere you go, you can come close to it. I wonder if you feel like any of the characters in the Christmas story. 
I wonder if you could tell this story in your own way. I'm going to say a prayer now, so make yourself comfortable. You might like to close your eyes. And if you agree, join in with the Amen at the end. Dear God, thank you for the amazing nativity story that tells us about the birth of Jesus. Thank you that you sent the angels to the shepherds and the star to guide the wise men. Please guide us as we try to share your love with others and may God's blessing be in our hearts at this time of year. Amen. Well, thank you for listening and I'll see you again soon. Bye.